I, I played football in high school, not, not very well and not for very long, but uh, uh, you're, you're constantly uh, putting your head through, through repeated uh, uh, accelerations and decelerations. So I, I remember practicing blocking your hitting something and, and frequently hitting your head. And apparently the helmet isn't really, helmets prevent uh, uh, acute injuries to, to a large extent, but they don't pre prevent the kind of uh, acceleration and deceleration associated with with uh, w with traumatic brain injuries. There's been a uh, a realization that that sports uh, uh, that that involve a lot of contact and that cause concussions or or uh, tr brain trauma even that don't cause concussions, uh, repeated brain trauma can lead to neurodegenerative processes and that are now termed it, it, uh, uh, CTE or, or uh, chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And this is a chronic disease that, that in many ways resembles Alzheimer's but is, is in certain ways different, uh, involves tau uh, dysfunction and uh, is, is a huge problem for, for sports that involve a lot of head trauma. And those would, the most, most prominent one is uh, football. And it's been shown in several recent studies that, that the longer you play football, the more likely it is that you're going to have a chronic traumatic encephalopathy. That Intuitively, I would think the younger you are, the more at risk you are. So when you're, let's say, nine or eight years old and you're getting head trauma on a daily basis or five days a week or however much you practice, I mean, some of these guys practice all the time, um, your brain is actually growing, right? It's actually increasing in size. It's developing. So I would absolutely think that you're at your highest risk at that young age. So if you're playing contact sports and no matter what age you are, another you, you not only need to be taking EHT, me sports, but you also need to be very aware of what you're eating in general. So your, your diet is hugely important. So you really want to focus on a, on, on a diet that's, gonna, that's not going to cause you to have really elevated blood sugar levels, right? So, so even though you might be an athlete and you're, and you're really in great shape, if you're eating uh, uh, Skittles all day, which I see a, a lot of these guys do because they're younger and their their metabolism is so high, um, it's not going to cause them to get heavy or anything like that. But it's causing you to have very high blood sugar, which is really bad for your brain health. It's bad for your body in general. And something like EHT, me sports, is so benign that it's really a crime to not take it. Um, if there's a one percent chance that it could help you. You want to take it. Um, just, just if you have to play contact sports, if you have to hit your head regularly, because either you have to get paid or you, because you love it so much, it's really important for you to take this product. It, it,